It's time to take another look at a pro bike, and this time it's the brand new aero bike from Orbea, as ridden by Juan Lobato of the Euskatel Euskadi team. I'm going to give you a run through of the bike specs, pick out all the cool details, and then I'm going to weigh it and measure it. Now usually I would start by telling you the name of the bike, however this bike is so new its name is yet to be released, but it does show hashtag lower on the chainstays. The colour scheme not only looks very out there with its white base and orange pattern, it is in fact a clever ploy to try to disguise some of the frame shapes and profiles. Not only that, there are in fact hidden messages and codes embedded within the paint which can be read using a red viewfinder or special glasses. These messages will presumably make more sense as more details about the bike are released. The wheels are Vision Metron 55s and use Vittoria Corsa 25mm tubular tyres. The front wheel has a 160mm disc rotor and the rear is 140 Along with the majority of the peloton, Lobato is using Shimano's Dura-Ace Di2 group set. The hydraulic disc version of course, and at the centre of the bike is an FSA power box chain set. This uses 172.5mm crank arms and 39 54 tooth chain rings. Neatly tucked away just above the bottom bracket area is the DI2 junction box and charging port. At the rear of the bike is an 11 to 28 tooth cassette. An interesting choice seeing as that almost every pro bike we have featured this year uses the wider range 11 to 30 tooth cassette. The chainstays are a smart design which sit lower down and then kick up at the rear axle. This is to try and aid aerodynamics. Moving forwards and up from the rear of the bike, Juan uses the Prologo Scratch M5 saddle to help keep him comfortable. This is mounted to a proprietary aero seat post which also has a small rubber collar to help hide the seat clamp bolt. At the very front of the bike is a two-piece bar and stem. The stem is 120mm long and features a special housing underneath to hide the brake hoses and root them internally in the frame. The bars are Orbea's own aero version and are 38cm wide. They use a rubber guide to smooth the transition from the handlebars to the stem, also improving aerodynamics. Juan chooses not to completely tape the handlebars all the way over the tops and one of the reasons him and many aerodynamics choose not to do this is to improve aerodynamics. He also runs an out the front mount for his head unit which is integrated with the stem faceplate and the insert is set for a Garmin head unit. Finishing off the bike are Shimano Dura-Ace pedals and Elite water bottle cages. Right then, let me give you some of the bike measurements. First up, Juan Lobato is 173cm tall and uses a saddle height of 72.3cm. The nose of the saddle to the centre of the handlebars is 56cm and the saddle to bar drop is 10cm. On the official GCN Scouts of Truth, this bike weighs 7.79kg. Hope you've enjoyed taking a closer look at this brand new bike and for more information about the bike consider subscribing to GCN Tech and for all things racing, well make sure you subscribe to GCN Racing. See ya!